So the game I'm playing today is called Cursors.io. Yes, we're gonna be diving back into the realm of .io games yet again, guys, but once again, I think you guys will find this one pretty interesting. Or at least I find it interesting. That's why I'm making a video of it to begin with, but... Basically what this game is, is that... Well, I I'm not really sure how to describe this game exactly. It's kind of like a multiplayer co-op puzzle game that involves using your cursor to solve the puzzles. Your cursor acts as a physical object within the game, and you need to use it in order to solve puzzles and navigate mazes. This game does have multiple levels. I'm not sure if it has an ending or not. I have played this game a little bit off screen, and I managed to complete a lot of levels, but I'm not sure how many levels there are in this game. I didn't finish the game because I actually got stuck on one of the later levels, which brings me to another interesting mechanic that this game has. Because this is a multiplayer game, you'll be able to see other players' cursors in the level you're playing on. And a lot of the levels in this game cannot be beaten unless you work together with other players. Which is why I also say that this is kind of like a co-op puzzle game. You actually need to work together with other players in order to solve a lot of the game's puzzles. You can also draw on all of the levels by shift-clicking, which is also interesting, but there's not really any point to it. It's not gonna help you beat the levels. Anyway, how's about we get to the actual game here so we can click to begin. Welcome! You participate in this experiment with your mouse cursor. Move to the next level by putting your mouse on the green area. So this is our mouse right here, or this is this is our cursor, I don't know why it's saying mouse. So the controls are as you expect, you just move your cursor around, that's pretty much it. But you can also shift click to draw, which I guess doesn't work in uh, this level. So you just have to move your cursor over the green area and then you'll go to the first level here. So as you can see, we have a bunch of other cursors that are just kind of roaming around this, this little maze as well. So as you can see, there's one cursor right here that has a yellow circle surrounding it. That's my cursor. I also found out that if you move uh, through the walls, your cursor becomes highlighted by a red circle. But your cursor doesn't actually move. As you can see, uh, the cursor with the yellow circle is still at the uh, exact same place, the exact same part of the maze but you can also kind of move your ghost cursor around. I, I don't really know. I'm not entirely sure how to describe it. Yeah, there we go. So the shift clicking is uh, is working now. So I am I am drawing some, some lines right here. It does seem like they disappear after a while. The objective here, guys, is to just simply get through the maze, and that's literally it. This guy right here has to open up this uh, red door if he'll, if he'll let us through. There we go. Wrong choice, and you go back to the maze. Now, I have already played this level. The correct choice is, I believe, this this square right here, the one on the top. So, we have the uh, next level here, just delaying the inevitable. So, once again, very simple. Just gotta guide our cursor through this maze right here. And that's, that's what the first few levels consist of, but they do get a lot trickier after a while. Like, for instance, you have uh, this... this uh, yeah, this, this little uh, puzzle right here where you have to uh, click on a button 50 times in order to uh, get that red door to deactivate. And then this one right here where uh, all the switches have actually already been thrown. But basically, as you can see, one cursor has to go into that red zone in order to unlock that red door. And the blue zone to unlock a blue door and the yellow zone to unlock a yellow door. But these guys have already done it for us, so we can just pass through here. I don't know what the heck this guy's drawing, he's just like drawing loops. So we have to basically step on this, this yellow plate, I guess, or this yellow switch, or basically go into this yellow zone in order to activate that yellow door. And then the blue door, uh, when I go into this zone, it gets uh, deactivated, as you can see. So this game has these, these kinds of puzzles right here. And like I said, you have to work together. As you can see, um, when another person's cursor goes over the uh, the blue zone right here, it, it also gets activated. So you have to, uh, you, you really need to work together in this game. And also, um, yeah, so so basically for this puzzle, there needs to be two people on that, that blue point right there. And there has to be uh, two people on this red point in order for us to pass by. Now if just someone, if someone could go on to... Uh, this uh, this blue plate or that that blue area over there, then we could get through here. Well, that guy can get through, yeah. But well, actually, hang on a second. Well, no, because I'm the only. Uh, there's only like four other people here, and one of the cursors 
in this room is not even moving, so I don't think they're they're even at their computer right now. If you wait a little while, there will usually be other people who uh, spawn into uh, the level. Because, as you can see, it does tell you how many players there currently are online. There's about 173 players online, and it calculates that in real time. But not all of the players are on the same room, because I think everything is divided into different servers, so you don't see all 171 people playing on the exact same level. Probably because there's, uh, well, well, for one thing, there's not 170 people playing on this current level, but I'm pretty sure there are more than, like, five or six people on this current level right now, but it's just that the other people who are playing on this level are on a different server, therefore you cannot see them. So, I'm just... I'm just waiting here for someone to spawn. So this is this is basically what I mean. You can't complete some of these levels unless other people help you complete them. And as you can see, there's only like three other people here, which basically means that the level's impossible to beat. But a whole bunch of other guys just spawned in, so now this level is pretty much beatable. Okay. I need to get off this switch here because someone needs to someone needs to, to go and let me through here. Someone needs to get off the other the other plate for goodness sakes. Well actually you guys can just stay on, on that plate. Okay, fine then. I'll let that guy through, and we'll just wait for some, some other people to spawn, or wait for more to spawn. Yeah, so, th this this does take a while to uh, complete because of that, and I'm not planning on uh, completing all of the uh, the levels in this game, guys, because like I said, I wasn't even able to uh, get to the end of this game when I was playing it off screen. One of these is not like the others. I believe this one up here is the correct the correct path. Yeah, it is. Sometimes you might need to think about the needs of others, so basically you go on that uh, that little pressure plate right there, or I guess that red pressure plate, then you can pass through, and you go on to this level. So now you have red walls. Now, these levels right here are by far the trickiest ones, because what you have to do is that you have to uh, pass through a bunch of narrow passages, and basically the way these work is that you need to make sure that the tip of your cursor doesn't hit the uh, the red spaces. So basically other parts of your cursor can pass through, but if the tip of your cursor hits the red area, then you get teleported back to uh, the beginning of the stage. It, it's not as difficult as it looks, but what I usually like to do is that I like to use the trackpad in order to get through these levels, which is actually what I'm doing right now. I'm just very slowly moving my finger along the trackpad. Okay, that's... Oh jeez, the lines the lines are making it a little bit difficult to see. But these levels really aren't as, uh... Aren't, they aren't as tricky as, as they look. It just requires a little bit of patience. As you can see, I got, I got through that. But because I am very fidgety with my mouse, I am just going to use the trackpad for the, the final straightaway right here. Then we're on to uh, this weird puzzle, which I think you have to you have to get out of a maze here. Yeah, you have to uh, click on all of these buttons here. But I think there has to be at least one person on each of these buttons, and you have to click on them five times. But there's not enough people here for us to actually beat this puzzle. Well, actually, you don't have to because you can just you can just if you move as fast as possible, you can you can beat this. Okay, actually, no, you don't you don't need like multiple people for this. You just need to go as fast as you possibly can, but it is a lot easier when when there are more people uh, on the server trying to help you. Like this guy could could probably help me here. He could help me try to escape. Um, okay, here we go. I can get I can get trapped in this, but then I think I just get teleported back to the start when the other one appears. I got you, boys. Oh, okay. Never mind. I I got through it. <laughs> Alrighty then. Yeah, some some of these guys are communicating here. So, you have to click on this five times in order to get through that uh, that purple door right there. All the other guys are just going to fly towards the other switches, they're going to press them, and we're going to be able to get through these walls. Hopefully. If... Okay, why are they all going back to the center? See, you have to... You have to work together, okay? We need to... We need to collaborate. We need to stop, collaborate, and listen. <laughs> um... Yeah, so, I got you boys again. Okay, fine. Alright, well, he definitely did have us. He had her back there. That's what teamwork is all about. Now, I have... Oh, wait. Area 2 full, drawing is disabled. Okay, I didn't see that message before. Now, this one right here is uh, definitely another tricky level. I was able to get through this one. Again, 
I, I do recommend just using your trackpad. You'll have a much easier time. So, I might need to concentrate a little bit on this one, guys, because when I was playing this level off-screen, I did have a bit of a difficult time with it, because it, it does get very narrow right here. So I really need to try and, uh, try and concentrate. One thing I did find out is that you can zoom in the game window just to make it a little bit easier so that the paths look a little bit wider. You can see what you're doing a little bit easier, but I'm not gonna do that because, well, I, I just don't want to. I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess up the, the recording right now because I'm recording this at a, at, at basically the game's normal resolution and I don't wanna do anything that could, uh, that could screw up my, uh, recording right now. But even if this does take me, uh, a few tries, I will still try and, uh, and do it anyway. So as you can see, you can have the bottom of your cursor go into the red zone right here. It's just like the very tip of your cursor that you want to, uh, avoid getting into, uh, the red walls right here. Otherwise, you get teleported back to the start. But other than that, the level really isn't, uh, that difficult. Oh my god. But it, it always, it always does terrify me when, when stuff like that happens, due to the fact that I'm so fidgety with my mouse, or, and even my trackpad as well, because I am actually using the trackpad, so I don't know why I said mouse, but still, this is like, this is, this is tense. Very tense situation right here. Yeah, there are some daredevils that just pass right through it, they just like swipe their mouse and they somehow get through it. I don't understand how exactly they, they do that. Oh my god, of course. Of course you guys are gonna- are gonna make this even worse. You're just gonna draw over it. Oh my god. Okay, fine. I appreciate the challenge. I can do this blind. I mean, I have managed to beat this level before anyway, so... Really not too big of a deal. There we go. Got through that one. Oh, oh my god, please. Okay, making me really nervous right now. Don't go to the bottom. Please do not go to the bottom, just... Okay, that guy didn't didn't make it. He got teleported back. There we go. Got through that one. Now I just gotta... Go through here. Hopefully no one... No one screws up my, my thing. Well, I mean, the good thing is that the drawings do... Fade away after a while, so I mean, they, they're not permanent. They don't stay there forever. Final stretch. And also, if someone does, does screw this up, then I'm just going to, uh... I'm just going to, uh, just, just stop. Like, just, just stop for a while until the, the scribbles fade away. But it doesn't matter because I got through it anyway, guys. Very nice indeed. Aw, that guy drew a frowning face because he's trapped. Well, I mean... Oh wait, there is something I can do about this. I can get on this blue pressure plate to free you. There you go. You're free now. Uh, wait. What did... What did... What did he even draw? I can't even... I can't even tell what that is. Well, there you go, guys. I'm alone now. Okay, never mind. A bunch of other guys just just uh, spawned in. There we go. So now I need to wait for someone to hit my pressure plate. Oh wait, no, I need to... I need to free these guys so that they can get to, uh... They can get to the end. But now I need to try... I need to try getting in there. I have to try and, and go somewhere. Oh, is this guy gonna let... gonna let me go? Okay. Fine then. This is... this is teamwork right here. I guess he's just gonna stay on this... this pressure plate and let me leave. Alright. Thank you. Well, actually, no one's even stepping on the pressure plates now, so why is everyone... Why is... Like, why is this one deactivated? Okay, well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, one thing I noticed when I was playing this off-screen is that... At, at random intervals, all of these pressure plates will just get randomly activated. Even when there's, like, no one here. And I don't really understand why that happens sometimes. I, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, maybe it's because the room is empty, and maybe... Like, after, after waiting a little while, like, if there's no one joining the room, then maybe the game just activates all the switches automatically just to let you through. I'm, I'm not entirely sure why it happens, but come on here. I see the guy on the blue pressure plate, just click it for goodness sakes. Come on, you guys can't go back now, because that wall is blocking you. Come on, just, just let me through, please. I've, I've done nothing, nothing to you. I've done nothing wrong to you. Also, this guy is just, like, scribbling. Okay, I need to go... I need to go quickly, because this does go off on a timer. Then I think I need to just click on this, uh, ten times. Click on this ten times to deactivate the blue wall. Click on this ten times to deactivate the yellow one. Then I need to click on this to, uh, activate the cyan one. But then there's someone that needs to go 
needs to go back to the red one in order for for that to spawn. Actually, what what the heck? Okay. I, I thought it was moving there, but I guess I guess I wasn't. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I, I forgot the cursor can also get get stuck behind walls, and when you think you're you're moving places, you're actually not. I, I don't really like that. There is some guy that just spawned in right now, so he'll help me. He'll help me get through. Please and thank you. There we go. There's like two guys on these switches. Just help me through. Get me through this 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 nightmare, please. Thank you very much. Alright. And now I don't even I don't even know what this one is. Um, someone needs to go on the yellow switch in order to uh, deactivate this so I can get to that uh, green area. Uh, please, there's there's some guy there. Okay, well that that other guy can go on the blue. Did did he make it through? Yeah, he did. Okay, very nice. So if you can just let me through here, oh my god. Hopefully I have to get through this like very quickly. Okay, there we go. The the timer didn't go off for that one. Um. I guess for this level, we'll go up here and hit this red switch. Let you guys through here. Okay, we need to deactivate all of these in order to get to the uh, to the green area, though. So that's that presents a problem. We're gonna need more people on this server in order in order to get through this. I think, unless we just we just work fast, but all these switches are gonna reset after a few seconds. It's not exactly something we can do, but I can at least try and help out. Hit the blue switch right here. Or maybe maybe just stay here and just just constantly click on it. Hope hoping that something happens. Okay, hang on a second. We can go now. Stop getting stuck on the wall, please. See, and that's what happens when you get stuck on the wall, then everything just deactivates. And uh, you have to you have to repeat the process again. Well, it looks like more people spawned in, so try try and help us. Someone someone needs to go over to to this switch now and try and try and activate it. There needs there needs to be multiple people on on each switch here so we can all activate them at the same time so we don't we don't completely screw the process up. I don't know why that other guy over there is is just not moving at all. Come on here for goodness sakes. There we go. Now just get through here as quick as possible. All right, we made it out. We made it out alive. Now if we go into this area, this is going to get rid of the uh, red walls at the uh, center of the maze, and then when we go into the blue area, it's going to get rid of the blue walls. So once again, I think someone has, to, at least one person has to stay in this area in order to, uh, well, in order for everyone else to actually get through, get through to the center and continue on to the next level right here. And also, once again guys, just like in uh, regular .io fashion, this game has no music or sound effects, which is, which is just great. It's just fantastic. At, at least it gives me an excuse to use uh, more more copyright free music from from NCS. But now, as you can see here, I can go to uh, well, actually, hang on a second. I'm gonna go to this side. Yeah, see, so we we can't get to uh, the exit because it's blocked off. So someone, at least someone, has to go into uh, the blue area in order to deactivate the blue walls or the red area to deactivate the red walls. But once again, we're gonna have to wait for someone to spawn in before that can happen. I will admit, this game can definitely be frustrating at times, especially when when none of the players in the room are, are working together or willing to work together with you. But this worked out pretty well though, because they all managed to stay in that, that one area for long enough. Now, this is also another room that I managed to get through. Once again, you just have to click on, on everything quickly. And there we go, we already got through it, guys. Um, I don't exactly remember what's what's going on here, but we already got through it, so it's not like it even matters. Uh, I think someone needs to go down over there in order to deactivate this wall. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the, the wall has already been deactivated, so we got through that. Yeah, so like I said, I'm not entirely sure how many levels there are in this game, guys. Um... Well, we're just, we're just, like, blazing through them right now. Holy crap. And, oh my god, are you telling me that I got stuck on that wall? Alright. Now, that last level that I just played was about as far as I had gotten in the game. So, I haven't even seen this level before. But it looks like we need to activate, we need to deactivate, I should say, these uh, very tiny walls when someone goes into uh, that zone. Alright. Into, uh, into a very specific colored zone so we can pass right now. And then the last one is just this little blue wall right here. So I think when someone passes through that, it'll get rid of it. There we go. Now we can move on to the next level. And what the heck is this now? We got some sort of, like, really giant maze here. If someone can get to uh, the red switch and switch that on, or switch that off, holy crap. I'm saying so many stupid things that I'm not meaning to say right now, but 
I... <laughs> I don't really know what it is, but I feel like... Like, sometimes when I play games that contain literally no music and sound effects, I tend to, uh... To lose my train of thought even more. I don't really understand why, but I feel like that's that's something that's been happening a lot recently in uh in in like all the the dot IO games I play. Like I can't I can't concentrate on what it was that I was saying. It's almost like I need some some weird noise to be happening in the background in order for me to to concentrate more. Which is really weird because I mean I mentioned in one of my Trackmania Turbo videos that I really don't feel like listening to music help you helps you concentrate more on on anything. Like not even if you're if you're doing schoolwork or something. Um, but anyway, let's let's just uh, let's just try and get to this exit right here. What is this guy doing? This guy's like glitching out. Okay, I didn't even see that level, but I just like beat it instantly. So I have no idea what the heck just happened there. All right, yeah, these guys are like clicking very quickly. You can't always get what you want. Uh, gold. Oh, all right, we can't go there. Um, even more levels. Holy crap, dude! How long is this? Well, it doesn't matter, because I already I already beat that level. What is going on right now? I guess we have to to move through this little little maze right here. Yeah, get out. Get out there. Then move through the red maze. Okay, never mind. Don't don't move through the red maze. Because there's like a blue wall that just got activated. Hang on a second. We gotta stay in in this area over here. Because I think as long as people are staying in the other areas, we'll be able to get through. I managed to get through. Alright, but now there needs to be at least one person going into the yellow area. Alright, thank you very much. And we managed to get through. I don't know where I am right now. Okay, I, I see myself. Um, someone needs to go into that area in order to get rid of that, that wall. Come on. Can I, can I go back in here? It's like sometimes they only stay on it for a half second and I have to like swipe my mouse so I can get, get through it quickly enough. But sometimes not even that works. Now I need to wait for more people. Here we go. Some guy, some guy got through here. Hang on, go back into that zone, please. There we go. Now we just have to wait for him to get over here so we can pass through. Okay, never mind, he just left, so now we're gonna have to wait even more. <laughs> oh, hang on a second, I'm gonna try and, and let this guy through right here. There we go, now stay, stay there. Alright, we made it. There we go, that's what teamwork's all about. I guess I'll go through here, and come on, cursor. Stick with me here, for goodness sakes. Oh wait, I think I, I think I went to the wrong side, did I? Well, actually, no, you can, you can go through. Wait, how, how the heck did you, did you teleport all the way to there? What, what in the world? Okay. Um, you, you could have let me through because of, because of that one right there, but no, they just decide to leave and the other guy's not even moving. Alright, this guy's through. Alright, just, just let me on, let me on through this yellow wall. Deactivate the wall, please. Deactivate Donald Trump's wall. Okay, thank you very much. What in the world is this now? Are you for real? Okay, well, there's only one guy here. I guess I'll let him through. There we go. I'm not gonna be able to get through that in time, will I? Okay, no, I have to- I have to help this guy. Oh, okay, I have to guide him all the way to, uh, the red switch. Alright, just keep on guiding him then. I'll guide you through this- this- this labyrinth. This labyrinth of hell. I don't even know what this is. This is- this is like hurting my eyes right here. I don't even know what's going on. Now yeah, just- just keep on going. Don't you worry about me, I have the switch deactivated at all times. There we go, whenever it gets reactivated, I just have to click on it again. And it removes all the walls. Holy jeez, looks like I just need to- need to wait for him. There's only like- It's only like me and him on this- on this entire room right here. I don't know how many other people have- have managed to make it this far into the game. And like I said, I don't know how many levels there are. I'm probably gonna end this video very, very shortly, guys, because... Like I said, I didn't plan on, uh on beating the entirety of this game. Although I am a little bit intrigued now, I will admit, but I don't think I am gonna try. Okay, here's another another guy right here. Just deactivate the wall to let me through. All right, well, there's another guy over here. Okay, do I just need to, like, just make it all the way to uh, to the end right here? Just go through, go through a, a spiral? Oh my god, okay, I'm just like, I'm like racing with this guy right here. Wow, this is like really hurting my eyes. Okay, I can guess. I guess I can open up a path for uh, everyone else that's coming. That's coming through here, because all when all these red walls get activated, they can just take a shortcut through the maze and just go straight to the exit. All right, but there's only like two other guys here, so it's not like that's that's really gonna matter. So we might as well just leave. Um, oh jeez, what is going on here? Okay, deactivate this. 
Well, the other guy's already in the blue zone, so I can at least get through here. Just gotta, gotta race with him through this maze, and I got through it. Okay, and now I'm the only one in, uh, in this level right here, but I might still be able to get through this, possibly. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see. Actually, no, I'm not gonna be able to, because, well, mainly because I'm trapped now, and I need to wait for someone else to, to join in here, and I'm not sure if anyone has managed to make it this far into the game, so, yeah. You know what, guys? I, I think you, you guys get the point of this game. It, it is a really cool little puzzle game, a really cool little .io game, and I, I don't think there's really anything more that needs to be said about it, so I think I'm gonna leave this video here. This was just a random game that I stumbled upon when I was just browsing the internet for games to play. I came across this, and I, I will say, it is really cool. Like, it is really cool how I have to use my cursor and click on stuff in order to uh, solve puzzles here, but also the fact that it's like a co-op game, and you need to rely on other players in order to get past some of these levels, that that is a really neat concept. It, it encourages uh, it encourages collaboration, you know, working together with, with other players, even though not all of them want to work with you. No, it's, it's like every man for himself in some of these levels, but... It, it is definitely a really cool uh, concept for a .io game. It's certainly a frustrating game to play, though, especially when the other players don't don't want to work together with you and they just want to try and beat the level, just claim everything for themselves. And not only that, but there are some levels that you can't even beat unless you have other players with you in the exact same room. As you can see, I'm basically stuck now because there's no one else spawning into the room, no one can help me, I'm trapped in this, like, blue room on this yellow switch. When I click on this, it just deactivates the yellow the yellow wall at the bottom of the level, but I can't do anything else, so I'm I'm trapped here. So, yeah, that's that's just it. I'm, I'm, I'm royally screwed. And it doesn't seem like anyone is going to be spawning in anytime soon. I don't know if, if anyone has even managed to make it this far into the game, but I did make it a lot further than I thought I would in this video. But I think other than that, guys, this is a good stopping point because I wasn't planning on beating the entirety of this game in this video anyway. I'm not sure how many levels this game has, but maybe I'll keep trying and see if I can get to the end. But it's, it's going to be really hard, especially when there's like no one else spawning into the room and the level's basically impossible to beat because of it. So... It's, it's gonna be frustrating, to say the least. Anyway, if you guys want to play this game for yourselves, the link is in the description. It is a free game, so you might as well go check it out. Most .io games are free anyway, so you can play this directly within your browser. Definitely go and play it, because this is a, a really cool .io game, and, uh, I think... Yeah, my... I... Oh, never mind, okay. I thought my mouse died there for a moment, because nothing was happening in the game window, but I guess I lost focus of Firefox there, which is something that keeps occurring from time to time, and I have no clue why. Don't understand why my laptop keeps doing that, but whatever. It's not important anyway. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later!